John Keith, former United States Reconnaissance Marine, lifelong collision repair specialist, and this is JM and R Body Works. All right, before I yank this hood off here, let me show you guys a little something. Uh, you see a little scuff mark right there on that cowling, and the hood is just a little in there and a little bit in right here on the, the chassis fern. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take measurements from the tip of the hood on one side to the tip of the hood on this side, and I'm gonna bump it up about half an inch. So if you look, I put a little 93 and one half. So that tells me once I get the fender off and the inner reinforcement starts fluctuating, I wanna make sure when I glue it back in and clamp it, I keep it at about 93 and one half inches wide to, to bump the fender out just a little bit, make it line up with that chassis skirt better. And then I did the same thing with the inside cups that fit on the, the, the guides. And you can see I measured it at 47 and a quarter. That's from the inside of that cup to the inside of this cup. And that'll give me the, the proper measurement so when I put the hood back on there, it'll actually uh, line just a little bit out and it'll push the fender out some so it'll line up better than it did uh, before it came in. And that's it. We're gonna yank this hood off there and get rolling. As you can see behind me, we got this hood off the truck. It's completely disassembled and I'm ready to start burning in it and getting the fender off. Uh, to do that, I wanna heat the seams up to a, just shy about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. That's gonna allow the glue to release and fender will just pop right off. All right, y'all, got the old fender taken off. About to start prepping the old reinforcements and top of the hood panel to get the new fender ready to glue it back on. I'm about to show you guys a trick to get that stubborn glue off there without having to grind it and kick up all that dust in there. Notice how the glue is still green in color. What you wanna do is get your torch and we're gonna run it back and forth and you wanna basically just heat it up to the point where you see it start to kind of turn tan uh maybe a little bit brown and that glue is just gonna come right off there there you go you can start seeing it change color there and it just comes right off I think we'll wrap up this video right here. I want to say a special thanks to this driver in particular for coming all the way from El Paso, Texas here into Dallas to get some work done. Uh, he saw one of our YouTube videos and decided he wanted to use our shop. So I really appreciate that. That means a lot to me. Uh, also, it appears that this guy's a very proud Army veteran based on the jump wings I saw taped to the side panel and the 82nd Airborne hat on his dash. He's a fellow paratrooper. So big shout out to you, man. That's awesome. Even though I'm a United States Marine veteran, I was lucky enough to attend the Army Airborne School in Fort Benning, Georgia, and had a, a blast, man. It was uh, well, one of the best three weeks of my, my time in the military, so it was uh, a lot of fun there. But you guys know the drill. If you like these videos and want to see more, smash that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and come ride shotgun on this big world of heavy-duty truck repair.